Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how we can add Q&A to Microsoft Teams meetings. So normally you'd use chat, but some of those questions can get lost in that chat or sometimes verbally if there's too many people. So this will show you a quick trick on adding an app to Q&A that you can set up before for discussions and drawing. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. So create a regular Teams meeting. Once you've done that, double click and you'll see this screen. Choose the plus button and then select the Q&A option. And this will allow you to add a new Q&A app inside of Teams meetings. Just choose add. Once you've done this, it'll have a couple of options such as enabling attendees to ask new questions as well as moderation. And you can choose your options and then choose save. This will add the Q&A app into your Teams meeting for the future. And you can start discussions and questions that will actually be pre-saved before the meeting starts. So this is great for teachers, for example, who could set up some test questions and discussion points before the actual lesson. But you don't just have to do it this way. You can also do this live as well. So I'll just post some test questions and discussions and then we'll have a look at how this looks in a meeting. So here I'm in my meeting, a regular Teams meeting, and you'll see a new option, Q&A, just near the breakout room option. You'll see the predefined questions that I created, and users of all types can comment and like on these questions. So any of your attendees can actually do this. They can also edit their responses as well, and this is great again for asking for participant feedback and actually engaging. Yourself, as well as attendees, can also create new questions and ask questions which you can reply to and the rest of the attendees can as well, all in the same app. And then you can simply select this as and when you need it and hide it. So this is a really useful way of using Q&A outside of chat and keeping a log of the questions and discussions. We'll just have a look at what happens when you leave and you'll see that those questions and the comments are also saved inside of the meeting. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend.